the patients that I see are predominantly long-term conditions, but also those which need complex medication management. My role here is to identify and bring the patient into the discussion that I'm going to make about their medication. I think they need to be equally involved in the decisions. Some patients who either need their treatment optimized because their health outcomes are not achieved, but I have to accept their personal goals their beliefs because that doesn't necessarily mean what the patient wants is what I want. Once the patient is accepting what course of action, I can either stop their treatment with their consent, I can add in treatment and I think the most important thing is that building and empowering that trust within the patient. Some patients I see for areas that Raina has in effect largely taken over the long-term management of some conditions. So when I see patients and I know that they're due an annual review, say for epilepsy, as a matter of course, I'd say to them, book a review with Raina. Working in the practice, learning from my GP colleagues and how they manage their patients, it's learning from both sides of my job. Originally, I came to see Rena because I had problem with high blood pressure. I was one of two different drugs I'd been on via the doctor and it was recommended that I came to see Rena. I think it's very beneficial to have a, a pharmacist within a doctor's practice. For me, it's meant that Rena could spend more time with me than the, the doctor's average appointment. She's also been able to offer me her expertise as far as my drugs regime is concerned. So it seems to be a win-win situation. Often patients come in having been to the hospital and they've got a prescription form from, from the hospital. Um, we would give that to Raina and ask her to check it and often then we would ask patients to come in so that they can discuss their medications with Raina to make sure that what the hospital's prescribed them doesn't contraindicate her. Every surgery has a GP and a nurse. Why not a pharmacist? We improve patient outcomes as a profession. We improve concordance. We reduce pharmaceutical waste. But above all, we are also able to ensure that the viability of the general practice is continued. When the NHS landscape is changing and there is more sort of long-term conditions managed in primary care, this hospital avoidance program, care closer to home, all of this will only be possible if there is multi-skill talent in general practice.